as they say music is the soundtrack of our lives, then Aussie hearts have been beating to the sound of two different drums for nearly three decades. Australia runs on rock and roll. And we pledge allegiance to two bands. Their songs define the chapters of our lives. But the big question is, can we choose between them? Between the biggest and the best. Good evening. Thank you very much. In excess or cold chisel. Hot for cold chisel are David Campbell and Fiona O'Loughlin. <laughs> and up against them are Matthew Newton for In Excess and joining for the first time leading media personality and writer Libby Gore. Libby, please state your case. Well, I have to say, Jules, In Excess, Cold Chisel, both great bands, but In Excess are the band that, as a woman, make me feel good. Like, you only have to look at the lyrics. Cold Chisel, intelligent, introspective, painful. The way they write about women, Don Watson, it's like their legs are open, but their minds are closed. <laughs> I mean, quite frankly, with In Excess, everyone's legs are always open. No one uses their mind. They just box and have a good time. <laughs> Matthew's on the right team there with that big smile. Yeah, uh, Julian, thank you so much. I, look, I think... <laughs> Every great rock and roll band in the history of music has chosen their lead singer via SMS. I think that's <laughs> the way to go. <laughs> Clearly. So it's a fair point over there. I mean, does In Excess being in that reality show make them better or worse band? Well, <coughs> sorry, well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I just want to touch channeling. on Libby's point for a second here. And, and ladies, I, I appreciate the fact that, you know, you all want to get some through the In Excess music, but what's going to get your boy in the mood? A bit of chisel. Oh, please! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Kind of boy yeah. you're after? Do you want a boy in a lumberjack shirt that vomits for a good time? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, oh, I don't even know how much you know about this subject. I, we <laughs> only met today, but I, I can argue this in two words. Two words only, please. And the argument's done. Two words. Yeah. Left my heart to the sappers round K S. Good two words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I must say, I hate nepotism, by the way. I reckon that sucks. <laughs> hey, listen, don't complain. We're on Channel 9. Wait a minute. <laughs> Trading on your dad, man. That is cheap. No, that, also, I want <laughs> That is cheap, For those man. who don't know, I've been living under a rock. David is Jimmy Barnes' son. Rumour yeah. has it. <laughs> Allegedly. Respect to David also, I also have to say that the whole in excess thing has got a bit of a mystique, hasn't it, because of Michael. Mm. Yeah. Michael, yeah, yeah, all well, the great rock uh, bands in history have got dead lead singers, whether it be in excess, whether it be The Doors, whether it be Millie Vanilli. The closest, well, actually, the closest actually, Jimmy yes. Barnes has got to death is when he recorded that duet with Johnny Farnham in the 90s. <laughs> and I have to say that the in excess legacy just grows and grows. They are yeah, sherbet in leather pants. Chisel, at, least, at least Cold Chisel can have a proper reunion. Union. Oh. oh! No, you did. Yeah, that's Although right. Many people would argue that the lead singer of Cold Chisel is dead. <laughs> no, that's not true. Oh. That was only for 1987. He's and been back. Also, how many, how many other like you know members of NXS have like you know a child who's quasi famous who has a CD coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Has, has your album won any awards? <laughs> oh, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Can I just ask you this? Matthew, can I ask you this question? Rebel Fest, best film right here, right now. Okay, this is, this is, uh, this is out so on the weekend. Gorgeous. Matthew, uh, when does your film come out? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> That's where that drink coaster went. Oh, <laughs> they make good earrings as well if you get two of them for Christmas. I really think it's important, you know, given that we are speaking to the women and men of the nation, to look at what these two bands have given culturally to our country. What's that? In excess, have encouraged emotional engagement between men and women, empowering mm -hmm. stuff like sometimes you kick, yeah. sometimes you get kicked. What have Cold Chisel done? <laughs> All they have you done is encouraged, encouraged people to drink cheap wine and have bad personal hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> Look, look at that three-day drunk on your teammate. Hey, listen. Back Let to me smell your breath. How many drunks 
do you see at the end of a night around a pub singing Suicide Blonde? It's a... <laughs> K-San... Well, it depends who you're dancing K-San with, K-San is the song of a nation. It's the song of the sporting heroes. It's the song uh, that we all sing every weekend. You can sing it for me now. Yeah. Well, the last train out of the city is almost gone. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I always get it mixed up. Is it the last no, plane no, no. or last train? Last plane. Although, oh. if you can't afford it, you can catch a train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I just hate it. Says head. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 but let's take a look at some of the history to help us make up our minds and to educate me because when these guys are in their prime, I was still wetting my bed. Is that wrong at 15? All you can say is like Carl Chisel, it's sorry, a band that can come to see us, what we would it's all about. Back in Baribu! The Australian, they sing about Australia, they're Australian all over. Carl Chisel started rocking pubs in 1973. I love in I always remember when I was a kid, I used to say I wanted to be bigger than the Beatles. In excess, moved from Perth to perform on Sydney's North Shore in 1979. When we started as a band, we were still in school, probably spending too much time in music and not enough time on our studies. Jim Barnes and the Chisel Boys had a well-earned reputation. We decided that we were going to do something drastic. For playing and partying hard. With Michael Hutchins up front, In Excess became the darlings of MTV. Blazing a trail with Need You Tonight, its unique layered animation put it ahead of its time. People just don't go out and buy rock and roll just for music. In excess were more polished and enjoyed global success with six top ten US hits. Chisel fans were more passionate and despite the band breaking up and K-San being banned from radio because... It's still the unofficial national anthem. Hutchins became world famous on and off stage and in excess seemed unstoppable. That's too perfect. Until that tragic day in 97. We will all miss you, Michael. God bless you. And they could never, ever tear us apart. Jimmy, Ian Moss and the others still rock us like no one else can. Kirk, Gary and the Farris brothers have reinvented in excess with JD Fortune. I got a new sensation. We know they love each other, but which band do we love the most? All right. So, what about... Oh, as a wedding band, who would you prefer to play well, your had, wedding? I walked up the aisle to Four Walls, Wash Basin, Prison Dirt. Why, you that felt like was... marriage is a prison? <laughs> is that, that a song title or where you got married? It was a culture's or something. It was a culture's or something. And but I, K Sound at the reception, everyone. I think but, also as well, I mean, you? which, you know, they're going to play at your wedding and they're going to bounce at your wedding. They're the perfect wedding <laughs> act. <laughs> and also, can I also make one more point before you go to your buses to vote? It's one of the kids are here. <laughs> exactly. And I'm here exactly. to say... Without Cole Chisel, there'd be no David Campbell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm here to say that it's time I fessed up. I am Michael Hutchinson's love child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this is getting second. really disturbing. <laughs> OK, like some of us have I'm been voting with our wallets for years, buying the CDs and going to the gigs, but now it's time for our audience to vote. Press A for In Excess. Has Chisel ever had a number one hit? Come on! Press B for the chisels. Oh, or press C to blow up our panellists. Some, some of our big questions really need an option for C, both of the above, but we'll decide between them Who after the break. Now, the big question of cold chisel versus in excess has been argued, considered and voted on, and our studio audience has said... Cold chisel! At 55%! Oh, he's just 
take it out, our cameraman. <laughs> Just like a cold chisel concert. <laughs>